Got a controversial topic. A lot of people blame California for this. It entirely stopped the sale of SS Camaros for an entire year in 2021. And now it is the single most bang for buck upgrade you can give to your SS Camaro, LT1 Camaro, ZL1 Camaro, and of course an SS1 LE Camaro. And that's gonna be the copper free brake system, which upgrades your calipers, your rotors, makes everything huge. And oh my God, it's beautiful. Let's talk about it. Today I'm going to be telling you guys about uh, something that everybody's been complaining about and blaming California for and during 2021 you couldn't buy a Camaro in California. Uh, the brakes had too high of a percentage of copper in them, um, so you couldn't buy an SS Camaro uh, or a ZL1. California law put this in way ahead of times. All the other auto manufacturers caught on. Ford couldn't stop selling Mustangs because this everybody could except for GM. So a lot of people are blaming California for this, but it's really GM's just lack of doing anything. Like they, they literally said, we'll skip a year of sales in one of our prominent markets to finally get new pads. So I don't know who dropped the ball on that. Um, but pretty shitty, but however, we ended up with a really cool upgrade and this is probably the cheapest Most bang for buck upgrade you could get when you're ordering a car or you're You're looking into purchasing one of these cars and I'm going to tell you right now the California cars are actually better um, Because of this than the non California cars um, and I know everybody's gonna hate me for that, but it's true um, but that, that's going to come down to the brake rotors. It's going to come down to the rotors and the calipers, of course. So let's take a look at them. All right, so how are they? Well, they dust. And you can see that. But are they not freaking huge they are they are very very big uh, and you can get these now on an ss so what you gotta do is uh opt for the 500 hundred dollar copper free option you get a larger caliper you get a larger rotor now i haven't put these on the track so i can't really tell you how these actually fully perform yet but i have put it through the canyons i have been daily driving it i got about 1200 miles on the car and i will say that the brakes feel more confident um I'm on the brakes a lot less than I was before. Not that the previous brakes were not enough. They were overkill in themselves, where these are even more of an overkill. Um, but I, I haven't had any problems with the brakes whatsoever. They feel very confident. You feel like you get a good level amount of resistance back at the pedal than you did with the prior ones. Um, and I haven't swapped brake fluid or anything yet. I'll be doing dot four brake fluid so I could get on the track, hopefully here in the next few weeks. But uh, the, the, this is a $500 option, guys. If you went aftermarket to try to upgrade these brakes, it's gonna cost you a lot more, especially for that size. You're gonna be in the thousands. So this is my recommendation for you. If you're buying one of these cars, whether you're in California or not, opt for the, opt for the copper-free brake system. This is a hell of an upgrade. And it's not just the front calipers, it's actually the rears too. You gotta, you gotta come over here. It's actually the rears too are actually upgraded. So we're talking the same. The, we're talking the same, um, the same amount of pistons, but everything's just upgraded larger. And I'll go ahead and put some specs in you to com, uh, for you to compare back to the uh, the normal pre non copper brakes. Um, but yeah, if you still buy a Camaro 1LE or even an SS um, out of state, you could still get them with the normal brakes. But remember, this is only a $500 option. I mean, this is pretty much how much like some really good pads and fluid change is going to cost you but you get a whole upgraded brake system this is literally the largest brake system that has been offered on an ss and it'll probably be the the biggest one um, until they're sold and gone in the next few years but um i, I really want you guys to appreciate this and uh you know a lot of people were like blaming california for 2021 you can't get these cars these cars are still very hard to find um, as you guys know, and especially if you're in California, you have to have the copper free brake system. Um, so again, if you get a 1LE in California, your 1LE package is $7,500. You don't have to add it. Um, but if you get a non-1LE, you'll have to add this option for $500.
Uh, if you're out of state, your 1LE option would be $7,000, um, but if you offer the copper-free brake system, it's an additional checkbox. That's going to be uh, an additional $500, but well worth it. I think everybody should get this once you upgrade the pads, because aftermarket pads has, you know, whatever for copper and whatever. You're going to be able to uh, even increase your braking power even more. And I think this is one of the best bang for bucks that Chevy's actually giving to us, that California's gifted us. Um, in this process and a lot of people complain and say oh California is always doing this this and this but uh, Chevy actually took the one up. Yeah, we lost the car for a year, but we ended up getting Really good brakes of it the biggest brakes that an SS can get this is the biggest brakes you can get from the factory for an SS um, It's actually the biggest brakes you could get on the Camaro period right now getting into them um, yeah, they're, they're actually designed exactly the same way. The only difference I can actually physically tell um, for me is two things, and you can't see this here, but uh, one of them is, is the Brembo cap actually has like a loop on it to hold it on rather than just a cap that comes on and off. So that way, if you take it off, you have to put it back on, which I dig. Um, I don't know if the non-copper brakes are coming with that now, um, but I do know that my previous 1LE didn't come with that, and I know other guys didn't, so that's a little thing. Also, this bolt, See the silver bolt right there? Well, on the on my other car, those were black. Um, I liked that, I preferred that, but I'm not really complaining about it. Um, I, I don't care. Um, that's my suggestion for you guys. I, I wanted I want to give you a little bit more in depth about this car, but I wanted to focus purely on the brakes for this because GM really came up for us on this. Um, they, they, they could have done a million other different things. They could have just changed the pads, but instead we got upgraded parts and upgraded capabilities and i'm really happy about these brakes a very good upgrade over the stock 1le brakes um, so if you get an opportunity to get these in your area or you're placing an order um, you could get these in all the country or all states um, definitely go with this if your dealer says he can't place this order for these um, it's because it's in a different option menu for them and if they don't know how to do that you need to find another dealer because they're just you don't deal with that just go with somebody else um, if they can't figure it out, that's that's sad. Um, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, guys, definitely go with these. I'm gonna give you some specs and go ahead and show you how big they are. And I got a mitt for a hand, I really do. Boom. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this gave you a tip with ordering your next Camaro, or if you're looking for a used Camaro, look for one with the copper-free rotors. You'll be able to tell because the rotor fills up basically the entire 20-inch wheel almost. Um, but totally my suggestion. I hope you enjoy this video, and this is, you know, good shit. <laughs> uh, but likes, subscribes, and comments are always appreciated. If you've got this option on your car, please leave some comments and let people know what you think about them. If you've been able to compare them directly like I have by owning both a uh, non-copper free and a copper free or whatever uh, brake systems, then um, you know let me let me know if you're if you're one of those people. So it'd be cool. But yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, it's always a pleasure. And please stay tuned for the next videos where we're going to do a little bit more to this car and start getting a little bit more fine-tuned to my needs. already very well capable and i'm really happy about this so guys like summons comms whatever whatever let's get the fuck out of here <laughs>